gives you some idea of the differences in scale. So there are some similarities between the two systems, and there are also a lot of differences. Formal hut uh, is a brighter star than our sun. It's 16 times more luminous. And you can see that uh, the whole system is on a much grander scale than our own solar system. Uh, but there are some similarities as well. Formal hut B is orbiting around the inside of this dust belt and dynamically sculpting and shaping it. And the similar thing happens in our own solar system. And you can see in the figure below, and if you go to the next slide, there's an enlargement of uh, our solar system. Neptune in our own solar system does a similar thing, basically sculpting the uh, inside edge of the Kuiper belt, a dust belt around the outside of our own solar system that's uh, very similar or, or analogous to the one you see around Formal Heart. So there are some similarities, but there are also significant differences. And uh, we're going to be finding out about those over the next few years as we study the subject in more detail. Now, uh, with the refurbishment of the Hubble Space Telescope, we'll be able to continue observing Formal Hut using advanced camera and improve our understanding of its orbit. And later on, when JWST uh, launches, we'll be able to start to probe the inner regions of uh, the Formal Hut solar system. And as you know, our own solar system has a rich diversity of planets, uh, terrestrial planets and gas giant planets and additional dust structures. And we'll be able to start to look for those same structures in the Formal Hut system. So we're really looking forward to future opportunities to observe this system in more detail. And we think that it's going to provide a lot of rich uh, dis material and discussion for both observers and theoreticians in the coming years. And I will finish there and hand over to Sarah, who will comment. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. This is a landmark discovery in exoplanets because it's the first direct image of an object that everybody would agree is a planet. This is because, as we've heard, of its low mass, its association with the dust ring, and the orbital motion of the planet in part of its orbit around the star seen for the very first time. I want to start by putting it into 